President Uru Kenyatta Monday morning traveled to the United Kingdom to attend the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. The plane carrying President Kenyatta and his entourage departed at the Jambo Kenyatta International Airport shortly before 10 a.m. CHOM is a biennial meeting of leaders from the 53 countries that make up the Commonwealth of Nations. This year's summit is focused on promoting prosperity, safety, sustainability and fairness with the theme, Towards a Common Future. The summit brings together at least 5,000 participants from government, business, and civil society. The climax of the summit will be the CHOM Leaders Retreat at the Windsor Castle on Friday, 20th of April 2018. The retreat is a private meeting where the heads of state and government discuss collaboration on global issues and priorities for the Commonwealth Grouping. On the sidelines of the summit, President Kenyatta will hold other forums with leaders and investors intended to strengthen diplomatic relations and boost trade and investment ties with the Commonwealth nations. Among the first such meetings will be between President Kenyatta and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and Prime Minister Theresa May. The United Kingdom has remained one of Kenya's strongest development partners over the years. Besides trade and diplomacy, security and regional development priorities are also part of President Kenyatta's agenda during the five-day visit. State House spokesperson Mino Isapizu said the President is also scheduled to visit the London Stock Exchange for a meeting with investors where he will use the occasion to share areas of investment opportunities as envisioned in the country's Big Four agenda. During his address at the Chatham House, the President will give details on Kenya's efforts in achieving inclusive economic growth and a positive role the country plays in supporting regional peace among other global issues from a Pan-African perspective. Deputy President William Ruto, Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Mashangi, Chief of Defense Forces General Samson Roth and then Inspector General of Police Joseph Boyle led other senior government officials to see the President off.